Guys, we've got Lust in FH. Semi-finals, match one. Pre-bans are locked in Shizuka and Oliver are getting pre-banned here. This is where things start getting really intense. If you like the games before, you've got a lot ahead of you. Yeah, the semi-finals are gonna be pretty stacked. I love the Shizuka ban early. I feel like there's, even though she's so good, I feel like there's still not enough respect on that unit in these games we've seen today. Yep, there's that contested pick there. Nana's gonna get first pick by F8. Clearly he wants to go turn two. Varisa is gonna be making an appearance once again for less. A very strong unit in his arsenal, clearly signaling he wants turn one. Can't wait to see how FH adapts to this. It's gonna be really cool to see these two folks clash, especially because FH has gotten so far with no previous competitive history. I mean, Lest has a has a tournament championship uh, title under his belt. And uh, there she is. Uh, there's, there's that light battle angel again, ready to set up, strip, and increase cooldown times. I do like the Veronica and I do like the Dominic coming out of FN. Uh, FH. Now, Les taking that Water Monkey King is super interesting. I feel like that's very, very early to see a Water Monkey King coming out of Les. That could have been a lot of other units and not that, because I feel like you can kind of prepare yourself for a Water Monkey King. So I'd say a little early, and I think Les needs to make a big decision here, and he looks like he's going to be going after Sega and the Barbara going into this Veronica Dominic. I like the Barbara to try to get that Shiho value uh, earlier than you might anticipate it and boost up the team. Uh, but if I was Lest, I'd be very afraid of that Veronica so much so that I almost might want to ban it. We saw a water you <gasps> more Ooh, coming out here. Takes it back. Diana Leo getting locked in by FH. Oh, stoic. That was FH really trying to make Les sweat a little bit here with those two last picks. I mean, all of a sudden, what do you ban? I mean, you want to ban everything for different reasons. Yep, this is a really, really good draft by FH right now. Big fan. I do like him wrapping up the Diane and Lee. Of course, Vertiel is going to come to the field here. Honestly, Vertiel can just immediately be a ban, and that might not be something that FH even has to worry about. And I'd say FH has this round one already. Is limiting the damage coming out of uh, uh, less here. That's right, and if there's if there's one thing that FH is maybe short on, it is those units that open up uh, on turn one. So banning out the Veronica here, I think, is really strong uh, because not only is it the safe play for your team as Lest, but it also makes it so that he's gonna FH is gonna have to struggle a little bit to get through your will. Oh, well, let's see what happens. We got an attack lead coming out for Lest, and I believe it was an HP lead coming out for FH. Let's see what happens here with Leo kicking us off here, potentially going after a quick dismount onto the Barbara. Yep, and like we were talking about, look at all that will. So that means he is going to be able to get uh, get a turn here. So this is the question, can she boost more than Diana, Diana gives? We'll see. Yep, we'll see what happens here. Goes right after that Nana does get the strip. And of course, it's going to be boosting up that Diana. Diana is going to be going for a stun on top of the Masha, uh, the Barbara, and not receiving it there. Oh, that's great. You really want to land that attack break on the Dominic. Yeah, great attack break, great glancing being applied to every unit onto the field here. We've got attack bar pushback with the second skill. It goes right after that Diana. And of course, we've got she House. Skill 2 is available to stun everybody up. Yeah, he could go for the stun. I think that's the play. Good call. Unfortunately, comes up empty. But, you know, that's sort of the thing that you try, you expect with Shiho. You kind of got to temper your expectations when you're against a full win team sans Nana. Exactly. <laughs> Look at the experience in Les taking his time here. Definitely not trying to rush anything. Looked for the reset on top of the Dominic. Didn't receive it, though. Did get the provokes on everybody, though. Yeah, really, really solid. Those The provokes to clean up where Shiho kind of dropped the ball was pretty huge. And you could see Dominic thinking about where, or rather FH thinking about where he wants to put that branding effect and landed it on the Varisa instead of the Shiho. I guess he's pretty confident that he can take out the Shiho just through sheer elemental advantage. Ooh, yeah, definitely. That, that Diana might be able to rip through that Shiho, and that's something that Les does not want to see here. It looks like FH wants to remove the weakest unit from the field, and it is the Varisa. Yeah, it, uh, the, it may not come into play, but it was a slightly unfortunate proc from the Shiho there that ended up putting him at the one turn invincibility instead of two turn. Yeah, getting no stuns at all was definitely a big uh, a big upset for Lesser. He wasn't able to capitalize off of any of those stuns from Shiho. So we'll see where things go from here, but Varese is looking at getting dropped out from the game. There's a proc coming out of this. 
it'd be in a lot of trouble. Can the She-Hulk get the stuns now is the question. He's got another chance to cycle that attack bar back. Oh, and he gets it there into the additional go. turn. This is the chance. That was uh, beautiful. That was exactly what you want to do. So here goes the first soul stone. And now Nana's back up. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> it looks long. like we're going to see a Barisa get removed from the field. He has to take that unit oh, to get an boy. orb up here to keep his team alive. And there's that orb. And we've got Diana going to be transforming back because we've got Leo trying to go for the attack or pushback. Even the kill on top of this Sagat here. Things just got slightly more complicated. Oh, Things just got even more complicated. Man. Oh, if you're less, it's you're crazy. really, you're starting to sweat. I mean that no, we oh, saw you're it sweating in the, indeed. We saw it, man, that, that Diana was a lot of pressure in the pick ban phase. I thought it was a really nice way to close it out. It definitely was. That's gonna be the She's right got one there. more. Two or oh that this she's is She's got one more in her. She had and one more in welcome her. Welcome to RTA FH with round one victory over 2019's tw uh, SWC champion. Wow. Yeah, Diana, na 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 is exactly right, chat. Diana, na 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 That was so difficult. What a great way to wrap up that draft. Diana was probably the scariest unit that you could slam down at the end there. Uh, and it really, really put him in a tough spot. I mean, you, you want to ban Diana, but then again, there's so many other things that, you, that need your attention. Definitely. I did not like the Water Monkey King as early as we did see it. I'll stand by the Varese. I think the Varese still is a great pick there. Uh, but Water mm -hmm. Monkey King being a little early in the draft, but then also missing those stuns at that big opportunity, getting absolutely nothing. Les lost a ton of value in that situation right there. We've got pre totally. locked in here. Veronica, Verisa getting pre -band. Totally. Yeah, as, as cool as the second and third proc from Diana were to see from like a viewership perspective, I would say that after it, the first proc was probably just enough to kind of seal the game and you got to an anticipate that with diana they're always built on violent and you've drafted a shiho like how much mileage are you realistically going to get out of the shiho when it's picked that early and they have enough chance to go all wind i'm expecting a much more aggressive draft coming out of last year he's got oliver as his first pick here the response from fh being the shizuka and the gianna has a lot of value less taking his time here thinking about what he wants to bring against these two units and it is going to be a barbara and a cigar again i would definitely expect to see a potential leo coming out of fh once again since he's already drafting it against these speed based damage dealers yeah that's a good call and there it is right on cue right on cue here he is Never one to miss the opportunity to hinder speed scaling units. Uh, you know, I like the Antares there, but maybe he needs something with a little bit more guaranteed presence instead of assumed presence. Uh, he's really debating that. There you go. I, I like that a little better, I think. Yeah, I think the Verti Heal is a better decision because it looks like he wants to let the... Um the cigar through even if the vert heal gets provoked there he's still going to gain his value right there uh he's mm -hmm. definitely not worried about the damage coming out of the bobber because he has the leo and i think less might already be thinking about banning out the leo and then drafting accordingly we're going to see anana and of course dominic coming out for less so definitely a really aggressive draft coming out of less bringing that dominic to the field the ability to gain orbs taking that back and going with the tessarian this time <sighs> I mean, those are two really good passives to lock down with the Tessa, so I, I see why. Um, and we just had a member of chat, Bane, point out that uh, we did see a Hall of Heroes Nat 4 pre banned in SWC right now. Just throwing that out That's there. Right. That's pretty crazy. That's a pretty well, crazy Marisa time. Is a very so, good unit. Super good. And now I think yep. everybody out there who's looking for an AoE stripper is probably going to try to build one uh, after seeing these games. I do like this boost to last pick here. This might be signaling. Oh, never mind. The ban is going to be the Oliver. Ban does get locked down onto the boost. The boost was a very good pick there. Definitely put less in a tough place there because now he's forced to let that Leo Verti heal combination in here. Defense lead coming out for less. HP lead coming out for FH. We've got a big one here. Less needs a clap back to keep himself inside this tournament. Or FH looking for a big upset for the previous champion. Yeah, things are looking swell for FH. He has the chance to really make a name for himself here. And meanwhile, Les needs to get a point on the board before FH gets too far ahead, man. Here comes Barbara, ready to boost up the whole team and notably no Diana to cut in this time. Yeah, FH definitely wants to give a lot of attention to that cigar. The cigar is going to be used to control the Shizuka from doing Shizuka things. We're going to get an additional turn coming at a cigar, looking to apply a defense break to a unit. Let's see what Les wants to remove first. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, here we go. This is this is pretty great. Everything's going according to plan, more or less. There's one more counter from her than we expected to see, probably. Gets the passive, locked Ooh. out with Tessa. Awesome. Yeah, nice additional turn there. I was actually kind of expecting him to capitalize on a um, Oblivion going out onto the Leo so he can get his damage back with his Barbara, but removing the Verdi heal from the field is definitely going to gain him some value and orbs, especially on top of that Nana. Oh yeah, pretty tanky cigar actually. Um, he's managing to absorb that damage from Gianna pretty well. We're going to have to see how that Tessa stands up to the bomb. Uh, here comes Barb to lock in a little more damage against the Gianna. Can it confirm the kill? Verd is no longer an issue. Tessa confirms Whoa. the kill. It doesn't value Leo's passive enough to even give him the time of day. Yeah, not at all. I mean, three orbs right there is going to say a whole lot. I'm not too sure what FH has in the has left in the tank to, to, to do a weight less here, but I guess what he's thinking is what happens if he can land some bombs? Uh, you know what? The bombs are not going to do enough because we just saw how much damage came out on top of that Cesarean, so... I don't, or skill I don't see three, Oblivion. If he puts the Oblivion out there and manages to secure some kills, so that way he can... Oh, it's already gone. <laughs> it's already off Nana. Never mind. Yep, definitely not going to be enough here. But we'll see what yeah. happens. I mean, this is, this is Summoner's War after all. A lot of things could happen. A lot of things totally could. I mean, look at Leo. Leo's nearly at full health. Shizuka's got skill too. Here comes Gianna with all of her skills available. She can throw a bomb out. I mean, this is... FH is not completely out, and again, this is FW, This is SWC, so you gotta play it out to make sure that all of your options are gone uh, before you scoop. Yeah, for sure. Shizuka is definitely the unit of focus right now. You gotta remove that unit from the field, protect itself with the soul protection, has immunity up as well. No additional turn coming out of that Leo. More poke damage coming back, and decides to throw the defense break on top of the Leo instead. All of a sudden, there are no more soul stones on Nana's die. Yeah, all of a sudden, they're all gone. Defense Break does land! He might be able to take care of the Shizuka here. Or, yeah, he could take. He could totally take out the Shizuka, but I think he's going to go for this. Yes, he's trying to knock out the Leo, but it's not quite enough. But it doesn't Ignore matter. Ignore Defense within Torrent right is available here. He would be able to kill with his first skill no matter what. He's going to be throwing Torrent down. 63k <laughs> gets the additional turn as well. Leo is trying his best to win this game for FH right now. There's any anything Absolutely. can happen from here. Barbara looking for the finish here. It wasn't enough, but Sarn's gonna be there to drop him. We've got orbs getting popped here. And then the poke damage going back on Shizuka. Shizuka does have skills available. Puts it back on him. There is a strip, but there pops up. The strip is only available on top of the Barbara. I don't know if he has that skill right now, but there is potentially the kill and Lest with the victory here. Putting up to 1-1 one, one against Oof. FH, which is great. Now we get to see more of this awesome matchup, too. Uh, and no one's at match point yet. This is a best of five, so they still have a little bit of wiggle room right now. That was a fun game, Stud. Definitely. FH was really trying to hold on with that Shizuka and Leo. Leo getting those procs off, though. Lucky enough that everybody was so low that he was able to torrent and even take down another unit with just a first skill available. But well done, Draft, uh, by FH. He was able to really take that to the distance and less holding on as a champion that he is trying to uh, mm -hmm. uh, gain more victories as we go into round three here. And what's worth even more is I, I think it really put the fear in Lest, you know, I think there was even a little bit of a psychological gameplay element there. Uh, Leo and Shizuka hanging on, not scooping in the face of the three soul stones. I mean, just just before that game, we were talking about how important those soul stones are and how usually if you're at three, that's kind of your signal to, to, to exit, right? But he managed to get less down to the point where everybody was in kill range. Yep, that's right. I mean... Three orbs usually signals the bottom left, but he held on and he proved that three orbs technically still results in a loss, but he made it, he gave a, he gave a good show. <laughs> yeah, he definitely did. Yeah, and also the, the 63k ignore defense was super fun to watch too. Oh, Veronica's back. Stoic, this is great. Yep, we're definitely going to see some Veronica action here. Veronica G. Anna coming out for FH. The Varisa Masha is going to be teamed up with two other units drafted by Lest here. Let's see what he chooses to respond. And it looks like Tomoe is coming back. That would be great. I would love it if the Tomoe made it through. We have yet to see Veronica make it into a game in this matchup, so we don't know how the speeds compare exactly just yet. And I, I'd really like to have the opportunity to examine that. Um, 
And, you know, selfishly speaking, I'd like to see Veronica in more games. Yeah, of course. Me as well. Beautiful animations out of those Battle Angels, for sure. It looks like FH wants to lock down a 33 speed lead, an, an additional speed lead. FH showcasing a lot of LD units that we were not prepared to see here. Well, you know, Volantis is coming into focus. Yeah, really bringing the full breadth of his box into this match to try to get that match point uh, in there. Nice Hagen. That's actually, that's great. That counters uh, several units that FH has brought. Yeah, I really do like that Haging, but Haging just might be the ban because he had to lock in two strips there. So only Varese is going to be the strip to gain uh, a value from the Charlotte. Veronica is going to get the ban. We're looking at FH taking turn one with that 33 speed lead. Yeah, let's let's see how close it is, Stoic. So, wow, oh, my this word, the Charlotte, Charlotte is so fast with the boost, the boost into the Varese Stoic. Oh, the plays. Wow. <laughs> oh we're going to get the strip glancing, coming to the field, looking for the attack bar, pushback on top of the Volantis here. We've got defense break available with the Masha. Masha looking to snipe something out of here. I just choked on the plays, Stoic. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. Gianna That's... not getting killed just yet, but Tomway's got something to say about it. Puts all the debuffs on everybody. Blessed is just going through a stroll in the park right now, it seems. Everything's kind of going the way that they wanted it to. Uh, and got the karma Definitely. on Oliver too if he procs. There's the kill on top of the Gianna Ghost. The skill too gets AoE stuns or just a stun on top of the Volantis. But that's all that Les is going to need there. A little bit of poke damage coming back onto the Vanessa. Vanessa is going to be the unit to get dropped out here. Wonderful plays by oh, Les. My... Well done. What wow. a showcase of excellent speed, action, rune quality. Last with a round three victory. Mind blown. That was so awesome. I love seeing the Charlotte as the attack bar booster. That was so cool. That was. I was not expecting the Charlotte of all the units on that field to take turn one. You don't often think about Charlotte like that, right? You see Charlotte as a control unit. And she offers the hard control on two skills and the soft control on the third skill. And so it's like, you don't think about her third skill as that attack bar boost. You think of it as a bonus. So ruining her on Swift can kind of like sneak by and be a, a secret starter. Yep. That just put Charlotte on the map for FH though. That's that's a unit that he has to be very aware of right now going into this round four. We have Veronica with the pre-band and we've got Varisa again getting pre-band. There's the Oliver. Great to lock that down again. That that speed lead comes in handy. Uh, even if Lest has a speed advantage, perhaps, it's still good to just have that safety net of a 33. Hovering over that Shizuka and the Gianna chooses to finally lock it in. And the Shizuka we saw was actually pretty great against the, the Nana earlier. She did a really solid Nana impression, the way she was keeping herself and her team alive, uh, keeping Hope alive when it was just her and Leo left. We've seen this exact draft from Les before, uh, and I've liked the performance so far, Stone. Yeah, I agree, but I have a feeling that Leo's once again going to be coming out. The speed-based damage dealers, and that's exactly what he's going to be doing. Once again, though, it is Leo and Verd. Les played well against us. He started this, and look how quick mm -hmm. he was to draft it. He knew exactly what he wanted here, and that's Desarian, and that's Nana. He is hovering over, and he wants to think about what is that fifth pick coming out of FH. What is he going to bring if he locks those two units in? Because we have a very familiar draft FH has seen before. Right, we've seen this exact exact game tonight actually and i think last time it was the Wusa that was banned out and i think yeah it was the was it oliver that was banned i think i think it was oliver that got banned i believe it was week. the oliver that did get banned out here tasarin's gonna get the ban the Wusa has to get the ban here because it's just not consistent strips for uh less so we'll see what happens if Sarin banned out here that was a big player for less last time we'll see if less still has enough of the tank to take a three uh, a third victory here up against FH. Yeah, it's a it's a good thing to point out because last time Leston faced the full brunt of the passives because he was able to lock down Verd fairly early after just a couple procs from the passive. Here comes Barbara to set up the rest of the team, gets a nice strip and attack bar boost, and we're doing the this is actually playing out exactly the same way that the last game did, except we didn't get a counter from Verd there. So he's getting full value out of these provokes right now, as long as he doesn't skill two from Nana. 
Yeah, that's big value. Looking for the reset back onto the Shizuka. Now that it's going to be landing, uh -huh. defense break landing on top of that Gianna. That's going to be the unit he's going to try and get first because that defense break sitting on him. He wants to earn these orbs. There's the uh, revenge coming out of the uh, the Vertiel, though. He was really thinking about that Stoic. He was really debating whether it was worth it for that counter against the Verd. In that same spot in the last draft we saw, Verd countered there. And he didn't know if he wanted to risk it. And we'll have to see if that extra attack bar ends up hurting him in the long run, because he ends up getting less value out of the provokes. Nice proc from Gianna. Yeah, violent Gianna landing a bomb on top of the Oliver. He wants to stop that unit from gaining any turns here. There is still one orb up on top of this Nana, though. He's got to get the reset and push back A, the Gianna, or the Shizuka here. What? Oliver manages to stay alive by just one HP Stoic. He's increasing the cooldown time on Shizuka. Less continues to try to dominate those cooldown times. That's crazy. I think he actually has to go for a fast link on top of the Gianna. Does go for it. Cigar might have enough of the tank to remove the Gianna from the field. That is two orbs up here with the additional turn popping up. Provoke landing back on the Shizuka with a despair stun on top oh. of it. Leo's here to take an orb away, but it still leaves one more orb in the tank. Verdi Hill might have enough as well. So close, but so far. Those two orbs were so clutch because Oliver almost said goodbye. He almost passed oh, away. There's a proc. Man. Very well-timed proc. Very well-timed proc indeed. Could have secured the kill on top of the Shizuka. Kind of curious. Maybe he's just comfortable knowing that he has that orb to bring his Oliver back there that he didn't feel a need to secure it. He's got Cigar in front of this uh, Shizuka here. Can go do whatever he wants. He can first skill, second skill, third skill. Everything's fine because he removes the Shizuka. Gets his orb back here. FH is going to keep pummeling that damage into the olive. Remove that unit from the field to gain. Take away another orb on top of Nana. I don't even know if that's 5%. There was a really small decision. That was a ended up being a brilliant play by Lest, actually. Choosing to secure the kill, not with, uh, not with Nana, but with Cigar there to forego the provoke, but instead put an attack break on Leo. That ended up saving his Oliver and his Soul Stone a little early. That was actually a really smart tech. Well, we're going to see some big, fast link damage going out onto the Verti Heal. Verti Heal is still alive right here, looking for a little reset tech bar pushback on top of this Leo. Leo's going to get knocked down the second skill. That is going to be it. Last wow. is going to the final. Last with the 3-1, the previous SWC champion of 2019. He's coming back. He really wants to go to the finals this year. And look at him now. He's going to be seen in the final set tonight.